video we're going to be showing you how to make an upgrade cable that goes between the upgrade power supply of the Graham Slee uh, to the Phono preamp. Okay, it works on any any Graham Slee Phono preamp. So at this end we have a three pin DIN plug. Now this is the throwaway one that come with it. I call it a throwaway one because it's utter rubbish. Um, this comes with a, a, a DC plug this side and uh, a free pinned in this side okay so what we need to do this job today okay come over here we need an array of uh, tools and that so we need a uh, heat shrink gun a heat gun a soldering iron some ptfe tape two really decent plugs so this one here is uh, got gold plated pins on it uh, this is the free pinned in plug and this one here is a uh, dc plug really nice gold plated one um, far better than that rubbish that's there with the uh, Graham sleeve um, we need some silver solder uh, most importantly we need this cable okay which is a silver plated Ono continuous cast copper cable now this has got Teflon insulation on it so it's got very low dielectric constant um, which is far better than the rubbish this, this utter rubbish and I'm calling it utter rubbish because it is Right, okay, now I wouldn't supply that if that was me, but then I suppose it's all to do with cost and all that, so, but, um, anyway, we also need some heat shrink, and I think that's it, and a couple more tools that I'll get in a minute, so, uh, let's get into this video. So, what we've, so what we've got to do here is, uh, we're just going to chop this in half, this was a three metre continuous length, so I'm going to make a, a cable, uh, around about a metre and a half, right, so we just want to, chop these off with a pair of scissors there and I'm not using any wire cutters for this just scissors is fine so uh, just chop it so they're, they're both the same length either end there we go and what we're gonna have to do with this is we're gonna have to twist this in a geometry so I'm gonna put this in the vise here Okay, and I'm going to squeeze it up nice and tight, and then um, we've got a lot of rubbish in this uh, studio today, so we've got to get rid of that. And now I'm going to get a drill, and I'm going to fasten this in the drill at one end, and then we're going to twist this uh, little baby into place. And then we're going to cover it in PTFE tape to hold the twist in place. Otherwise, what will happen is it'll um, is it'll unravel. I'm going to get this into place here. There we go, and now we're going to hold it tight. Oh, right, now it's come out, it's popped out a minute. Let's undo it and get it, make sure it's in really tight. That's better. Let's get it in really nice and tight. Then we're going to give it some tension there. Okay, it shortens a bit when you do this. There we go, that, that's fine. Right, so we'll need to undo that now. And that is now, it's going to untwist a little bit, but that's fine, that's twisted together beautifully. So we've got a nice continuous twist on that. Now this is going to help uh, reject any fr radio frequency information that comes from the uh, from outside uh, sources. But um, this actual uh, conductor, it's already twisted anyway, each individual conductor has got loads of different strands in it which is uh, twisted. And this conductor is one mil thick. So the, the, this is uh, perfect for a DC application like this. So now all I'm going to do is um, wrap this in some PTFE tape. Now you don't need to do this, you could keep it like that. But um, I like to think that we don't really want it unravelling at all at any stage. So. Um, I'm going to cover this in PTFE tape, probably two layers. Um, 
Now I'm very fast at doing this. I've been doing this a long time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this, and then when I've done it, I'll uh, I'll come back and show you. We just hold it in your hand like that. Just twist it round. It's very easy. Like nice and quick you can get it going you can do it with a drill as well if you get someone if you fix it in one end of a drill and you get someone else to uh, hold the other end and then uh, someone else to hold the the ptfe tape around it you can do it really fast so uh i'll be back in a second once i've i've, I've done the uh, two layers of ptfe so we've now covered our, our two conductors in uh two layers of ptfe tape just to hold in the the twist because what it tends to happen is the twist tends to unravel and we want the twist to be fairly sort of tight so uh, the, the conductors are crossing over quite a bit so now what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, use some of this um, braid we're going to chop it to the right length and then we're just going to uh, singe the ends of it with the uh, soldering iron and we're going to cover this this cable in the uh, in the braid just to give it that professional look and to uh it protects the uh the cable as well it's an outside jacket effectively right okay we're going to singe off the two ends to stop them from fraying so we just get our soldering iron just do it onto the back there a bit and then just push it together a little bit same on both ends and then we're just going to um we're going to thread all the cable through don't use the end don't use that end because you'll need that end for soldering there we go so that's that so now all we've got to do now is to push this through here the cable through and then we'll have a nice finish at the end of it there we go threading it through nicely right ready nearly there Right. okay so we're going to be uh, cutting some of this heat shrink now to go on the end this is my uh, my daughter in the background singing she insisted on being in on the video she's only four so she's uh, singing all the time so we'll keep her going there right we'll just go up to there we'll chop another piece for the other end so what we've got to do now is just pop this over the end here Okay, we need to twist, squeeze that in to get that into place. It needs to go right in there. And then just push it on. There we go. Goes in there nicely. Push that up. There we go. Right, okay, so push that up there. Right, okay. So we've got that to there now. So what we need to do now is to fit on the heat shrink gun, the uh, heat gun. And... Um, there we go. So we're going to heat this up now and shrink the uh, cut the heat shrink down on this end. Remember, just to tickle it around that bit. You don't want to melt the braid at all. So there we go. Right. Okay, that's that one. Yeah, there's not many there's not many videos that have got a little girl singing in the background so uh, make the most of it while it lasts so this is the uh, the other end now so we've got to do the same you've got to really squeeze in the the braid it gets a bit tricky this does because the braid tends to be splays out a little bit and we need to push it in there we go that's it so we've got to get that up push it right up there again so it goes over the end there and now we want to pull that back slightly there and then we want to shrink that down as well because the idea is you want to keep this fairly tight this braid um, so it goes to the same size as the cable there we go ready cameraman stop wobbling there we go so that's it now, that's it all made up. Now, you're gonna to say to me, you never marked what conductor's what. But um, you can do that, and I was doing that before, but we've got a multimeter here, and we're just gonna strip the ends of the cables, and I shall test what one's what, and then we'll be able to work out that. So I'll be back in a minute, so. 
So what we've done is um, I've taken the heat shrink off of this end <clears throat> purely because I couldn't get the plug on. So I had to um, file the plug down the end the hole because the hole was too small for the housing, the plug housing. So I've done that and then we'll put some new heat shrink on it after afterwards. So used a, a needle file just to file the hole bigger. Now what we've got to do now is we need to strip the wires. Uh, so we're going to get our wire strippers here. And then we're going to strip the wires back. Um, so we'll push that down there. There we go. That's one off of there. Um, may do that a bit, bit further down actually. That's two off. Okay. Now we'll do the same here. Probably take one up slightly longer because it's uh, give it there. Right, okay, so I'm going to have to set that lower on the back there. That'll do it. That'll do it. That's it. There we go. That's come off of there now. Right, so we're just going to twist those round a bit more. Well, they're already twisted anyway. And now we're just going to solder them up. So we're going to stick it in the device the there. And just tighten it up like so there. And then we're going to get our silver solder here. Okay, and we're going to solder this now. So uh, I've now turned to the uh, tripod again now. Because my daughter was making too much noise and I had to uh, sure out the studio. There we go. We're honing in now. Up a bit more. That's it. Right, okay. So we're just going to... Um, we're just going to get rid of any rubbish that's on the uh, soldering iron there. Move that over there. Now we're just going to solder the ends up of these a bit. What's going on there? There we go. Straight down there. Go along here. Just stick a bit of solder on it. All it is is so it's easier to, uh, to solder the plug when we get to the plug end. So that's that. So now this is our plug end. Okay. So we're going to put that on there. But what we need to do in a minute is we're going to have to um, we're going to have to test with the multimeter what wires what. Okay. So we're going to strip this end again now. Okay. That's gone too. Right, okay, so let's just pull that one off of there. That's come off. Now to this side. Pull that off of there. That's come off. Now all we've got to do is the same to this end again now. You can see that. We're just going to fit it in the uh, in the vise again now. Yeah. It's really easy using a vise. You can just clamp stuff in there. And, uh, and now we're just going to uh, solder these up again. Right, okay, that's, that, those are, are now soldered up, but they're too long, so all we're going to do is just chop them back with some scissors a bit. We don't need them as long as that. So that's that end. And then we're going to switch to this end as well, because these are way too long as well. Uh, so we need to chop a bit off of there. And a bit off of there. Right, so they're, they're done now. So now we're going to do the testing now. So now we've got our multimeter here. So we're just going to be, this is the multimeter here, digital multimeter. We're going to push it to ohms on there. Okay. I um, hope you can see that. I'll probably put it flat there. It's difficult when I'm doing this for myself. Um, let's see if we can get that in closer so you can see more. There we go. You, you should be able to see the digits there and move that along there a bit more like that and these are our top of our wires there so we'll get our two prongs here and we're going to test the wire to see what one's what because we want the same wire obviously uh, so we put put our prong on there and on there and nothing happens on the multimeter nothing's happening at all we put it onto there 
There you go, the multimeter's moving now. So we know that these two wires are the same. Same wire and the same with these two here. There we go. So we know that. So that's perfect. So what we're going to do now is just going to use a Sharpie pen here. Just to mark on, on, the, on the wires. So we know that they're the same. So this is one. Uh, we'll put a Sharpie down the bottom there. And onto that one there. There we go. So now I know when I come to terminate it, I know what, what wire's what. Uh, it's nice and easy to do that. Uh, you can label the wires before, that's what I used to do. But I'll start to use the multimeter, it's, uh, it's a lot easier. Um, so, what I've done now is um, we've now got our cable there. You can see it there, both ends. Okay, so uh, there is our positive and our negative there. So we're going to put this into the clamp it into the vise, turn it round so we can get it nice. Okay, so we've got our back housing now on, on, on the wire there. Okay, so we're going to use the conductor which is not terminated which has not been marked to go to the center to be used as the uh, positive sorry okay let's just get that up there and see what's going on with that so that should just be out to go straight into there right so now before we start terminating the cable we're just going to take a look at this one just to see what they've done um, so this has got a red wire on the outside which is indicating the uh, the positive which is going to there I'm not sure if you can see that a bit blurry there go back down a bit okay so that's what we're going to do we're going to use the uh, the conductor which has not got the red dot on it the black dot I should say that I put on there right okay now here's the, the uh, positive connector on the, uh, the DC plug so we're just going to put a piece of a, a, a tiny dob of uh, solder on there because it's going to help to adhere the uh, the other the center conductor to it or I should say the, uh, the, the positive so let's uh, spin this round now and now you can see this side of the cable's got the, the black on it, so that's going to be the negative, and this cable, this part of the cable is going to be the positive. Now what we've got to do is we've got to hold it in place there, and now we've got to solder it to it. Now this is never easy when you're doing it on your own, so it, it, it's a bit, um, it, it tends to be fiddly. So um, bear with me while I do this. So what we want to do first is to load our soldering iron up with some solder, because it'll be difficult to solder it, to put solder on at the same time, so we need to load our soldering iron up there and now we need to get our positive wire which is this one here There we go, that's stuck there. I'm not really happy with that joint joint though, so I'm going to move it slightly. You need a very steady hand for this. Especially when you're working on small stuff. Don't drink any alcohol the night before doing this, because it makes your fingers very wobbly. <laughs> Right, okay, so we've got that we've got that in position there now. Um, so now all I've got to do now is, is now connect this wire to it. Now that's very hot now, so be really careful with it. Right, okay. So now what I like to do is send the conductor so nothing touches it. So when you get the other, I mean these these are quite thick wires for small for small plugs. So I just like to get a bit of PTFE tape 
and wrap it round it because I like to make sure that the other conductor doesn't touch I should say the negative doesn't touch the positive when when all the back housing goes on and it all gets tight and congested in there so I'm just going to wrap quite a few layers of PTFE tape around it it just neatens it all up and keeps it all nice you could put a piece of heat shrink on there but it's very difficult to do it when you're heating up stuff at the same time if you slide a bit of heat shrink on the back of it uh, it tends to shrink down because it gets hot so this is your your easiest way of doing it so that's like that now what we've got to do now is we now got to solder this negative to this part now which is, tends to be quite difficult bearing in mind this is very thick wire see if it was very thin wire it's very easy but it's not it's really thick wire so uh, we need to bend that over slightly and bring that down into place there we go and now this is this is going to be the tricky bit now right okay so this is quite thick to get into the plug now so what we're going to do is just chop this conductor down a bit more there we go and then we're going to hold it on the side there and then we're going to solder it to the side there because that's going to be our easiest bet to to get it into this very thin plug okay we're going to push it in there slightly this is again this is very difficult when you're doing it on your own you could almost need someone else helping you um we can put rest that on there to pull it over a bit more and what we want to do is we want to squeeze it in there now we want to solder that in now okay into the gold strain a bit of it there we go beautiful just how we want it okay leave it to set for a bit because it, it's very very hot so uh, you notice my bench it gets quite congested when I'm doing all this sort of work so um, but it's fine so there we go so we've got it we've got our center conductor and now we've got our um, which is our positive and now we've got our negative there so now we're just going to crimp that up very slightly um, there we go just crimp it very slightly then what I'm going to do is I'm going to then give it a layer of PTFE tape over just to neaten it all up you don't have to do much because you don't want to thicken up the K the uh, we don't want to thicken it up too much because you won't get the back housing on otherwise there we go that's about that's about enough sorry about this this camera works a bit shoddy today there we go so now all we've got to do now is to push that on now see it slipped on nicely now there you go um, tighten it up there you can see that right okay so the nylon braid slipped back a bit so I just had to pull it up a bit to make it nice and neat there now what we need to do now is we need to cut some heat shrink here there we go to go on over this plug here and shrink it on so that's what we're going to do so we're going to offer this up to here like so uh, just chop a piece off there we go that's fine we'd like to neaten, neaten it up a bit to make sure it's nice and neat okay we're going to just slide that over the plug there now it's quite tight actually we'll be better off going from the other end at the moment because the other end is uh, is nice and uh, free at the moment so we'll just pop that over the other end and then we'll take it up to this end here there we go and then we'll just pop it over the end there that's better there we go look at that beautiful job right okay so now we need just to get our heat gun now this is our heat gun now and we're just going to shrink this down now
there we go a wonderful job now so now we're gonna to have to turn our attention to the other end so this is our three pinned in plug now so we've got a little screw in there we've got to remove so we'll just pop that out for the minute don't lose it because you'll need that afterwards and that's our um, that's our so we've got this back housing there on there um, I've got to work out how this comes out now I know that's it this back part here pops out there okay this is the the DIN plug here pull it out doesn't want to come out for some reason not sure what's going on with this right okay so that's popped out of there finally um, so this is our plug and that's our our back housing so what we've got to do is we need to pop the back housing onto onto the cable now because the worst thing to do is do is to uh, solder it all up and forget the back housing so we'll just pop that through there now we're going to put that to one side again and we're going to turn our attention back to this cable here which is the original one okay now I've already looked at this myself but I'll show you um, so we've got our three pins there you see you can see them there in the end we'll pop that over this this is a very cheap and nasty plug this one just pops over it's not really I suppose it's just a standard plug really now if you've noticed here they have soldered it onto this pin here and that pin there not the two bottom ones but they've opted to, to solder it onto these two um, so we're going to do the same so we know by looking at it our plugs uh, our wire needs to be soldered onto that left one there and the center one so we're going to clamp this into the vise okay going to screw that up there I know this video has got very poor quality today I'm really sorry about that I'm trying to do my best with it but and this is this is the issue with my videos is the video quality is never great which I've got I really need someone who can film the videos for me really well my son's addicted to Fortnite and he just he just never wants to do it anymore so so let's look at this cable here I don't want to wreck this cable I want to keep it so they're using the left hand this this pin here as the uh, as the uh, the positive and this one as the negative so that's what we're going to do now so we know the uh, the negative has been has been notified or indicated I should say with the black dot which I've uh, put on the uh, the cable here so we're just going to offer this up to here solder it in that one there and solder it in here okay but these are a bit too long still these so I want to trim these down a bit more so we're gonna just take a bit more of this uh, of this insulation off of this side here I've also got to get myself some better wire cutters because these are utter rubbish there we go so look the, the bit keeps moving on it there which is bloody annoying pop that over there okay that's that that's that off of there same with this one that's that off of there now we just want to chop them down a bit more because we need them closer in otherwise there's too much cable going out the back try to get them the same right okay so we've just got to solder those ends up a bit again so if we put that in there and okay, now we'll just solder the ends up a bit just because it helps to adhere it to the uh, it helps it solder better once you're so that's one side now if you see me wobbling today I had a couple of beers last night so Saturday night you'd have a couple of piss and my hand tends to shake the next day a little bit so um, that's that so that um, let's now just uh, put a little bit of solder on each terminal there 
don't know whether you can see that I'll try to get in a bit closer for you there that's it there okay we we'll just do that it just helps it it's easier to uh, this one there a bit more there right okay so now we're going to bring this wire around now we want to get it onto here and this is going to be the more difficult part now the back part's fallen off of there which is fine we can put that back on in a minute just it just uh, So we just need to hold that there and to solder that on. But in able to do that, we need to lo load our soldering iron up first again because we can't really hold it and do that at the same time. The whole so hold the soldering iron and the solder at the same time. Well, I find it difficult. You might be able to do it, but there we go. There's my hand shaking. done it yet right that's one in nice and neat that's very neat actually very neat indeed right so now we've got to do is to do this one here now Right, okay, so I might be able to do that now with this. Um, let's get a bit more on there. That's already done it, but it's on an angle slight, so we're just going to bring that down a bit. That's it. Well, what we want to do is to make sure that when you're doing this that the, the, the outside housing doesn't get touched by this now this is protruding up very slightly so I need to push that down a bit that's better excellent right brilliant right okay they're both uh, soldered in now so now we've got to do is to push this back into place now um, first of all we need our back part here so this is the uh, the back part that needs to go over here which we're going to crimp up so we get it try to get that back onto there there we go and now we can now crimp that around the side there We'll just use our wire snippers a bit there just to crimp that up a bit. There we go, that, that's lovely. That's just let's crimp that in place. So nothing uh make sure that's not touching anything there. Nope, that's fine. Right, okay. So now we can get this pulled back into place. That's it. we need to line that hole up with uh, this hole for this screw to go in. There we go. Get that right in. There we go. Push that in place. Just push it into place on here, just so we can get that. That looks like that. What's going on here? There we go. We're just pushing that up now into there line the hole up there's the hole lined up there so we just need to put our little screw in there which I'm sure I'm going to drop on the floor get it in place there right let's just get that on the end of the screwdriver first there we go right okay
Let me go. So now that is our DC power plug. There you go. A three pin DIN knot on the end, I should say. Right, okay, that's the cable finished. So this is our um our upgrade um power cord, uh DC power cord to connect the um the PSU, Gramsley PSU power supply to the uh, the Reflex M, Gramsley Reflex M. This is the utter rubbish that they supplied, which is going to be chucked away. And this is our new one. So all we're gonna do now is just to treat the ends of it with some deoxit before we plug it in and try it. Okay, pump a little bit of that in there. Um, give it a pat out, make sure there's no too much of it in there. Give it two squirts. So we're going to do this end now, just the DC end there. There we go, perfect. Right, okay, so we'll just plug it in and see what happens. I've not tried this yet, so come over here. If you watch that little green light that's down there on the uh, on the, uh, the phono preamp, or the phono stage, I'll just plug this in down here. That's plugged in there. This is the moment of truth now. There we go. Ah, oh, lovely. Look at that. It's working perfectly now. So there you can see it. It's all lit up nicely. That's our power supply down there. Another perfect job. I'm really, really sorry about the poor camera work today. Um, once I started it, it I, I, have, I have to upload it because otherwise I, I haven't got time to make another one. So I really appreciate you watching this. So I hope that you can see uh, the way it's made. Uh, any any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. I, I'm here all the time. I answer nearly every question. Sometimes I might overlook one, but most of the time I, uh, you know, I, I respond. So um, all I've got to say now is thanks for watching another Tweaker Man video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to give this video a like. And don't forget to press the notification bell so when you when i upload another video you you won't miss it thanks for watching